just like I said in my previous video of striking when the iron is hot, that's what I'm doing right now. All the uncool things in your life are actually the coolest things you could ever imagine. You've probably been told in your life to do certain things. You've probably been told, oh, you should probably journal. Or, oh, you should um, go to therapy. Or, oh, you should clean your room. Or, oh, all these different things, right? You've probably been told all them. And you probably like, oh, yeah, blah, blah. you know, like, oh, blah, blah. who the fuck does that? Or, ah, blah, blah, blah. I'm not doing that. But if you're like me, you figured out that actually doing the stuff that people tell you to do, like the uncool stuff, is actually the coolest thing you can do because of how it benefits you. So, like, for a long time, one of my teachers in college, she would tell me specifically, get Google, uh, get Google um, Calendar or just use a calendar um, service in order to plan your day and everything, in order to know when you have to do certain things. Just it, it'll help keep you organized. And I always was like, yeah, 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 I'll set that up later. Or like, oh, yeah, I don't need that. You know, I got the brain. I, I was very big on my um, on my Socrates shit when I was in college. I was very big on not writing anything down but just memorizing everything and having everything in, in my head because i thought it was cool that socrates never wrote anything down so you know i was on that but as i've grown older i've, I've realized the value in writing things down and just the value of those uncool things so with the calendar specifically i had always rejected that advice and then years later i'm thinking to myself damn why did i miss that appointment or damn, I didn't even know that that was going on. Why the fuck that, you know? And then it hit me. Ah, I should have just listened to the teacher when she was giving me the advice. She highlighted the importance of us being organized because this was a freshman class. So, you know, we were all freshmen. We were all just young bucks, you know, getting into this thing. We didn't know anything about college. So she really hammered down the importance of scheduling and planning. She really hammered that down. And, uh, you know, all of us, all of our young minds were just not ready for that information. I mean, there was probably some chick or some guy in the back of the class that actually took it and is now doing, is now doing great. But if you're like me, you didn't take that advice. So I'm sure you in your own life can think of a specific scenario in which maybe one person, maybe multiple people have told you something, or maybe one person has told you something multiple times. Because nobody's infallible. Everybody has gone through something like this. And especially if you're watching this video, that means you're like me. So if you're like me, that means you're probably hard-headed. <laughs> and you don't listen to others when you absolutely should. And you think you know the best. So take advice from, so like, take advice from someone who has gone through it. And who is trying to impart true wisdom on you. And I'm not saying this from a perspective of, oh, I'm... I'm so enlightened but just truly that listening to people especially when they have your better interests at heart is one of the best things you can do um, it's it's very important I see this all the time with um, people around my age and especially people younger and I, I get it because I was at that age once and we're all we all have a point in our childhood where we just don't want to listen and you know we just want to do things our way and uh, what do you know? You're old, or uh, all these different things. Um, we all have that to an extent. Some people more than others. But if you are younger, then this is the perfect opportunity in order to instill some of these things in you. Because I remember the stuff that I would go through in college, and like lack of preparation or um, not scheduling stuff out, so having to last minute everything. Um, I remember all of that, and I remember the stress it brought me, and I clearly remember how I thought at the time, if I had just implemented these systems, then in a couple years, I'd be fine. I did not in implement those systems, so a couple years later, I was not fine. But eventually, when I hit that breaking point, I started to implement some of the systems, so like journaling, um, just journaling anything. If if you don't know how to start, just start writing whatever's on your mind or write your thoughts that have been that have been going through your head throughout the day. Because eventually you get into the habit and then eventually you'll start to be able to organize your journal better so you'll know what you want to talk about and or what you want to um, figure out or what do you want to accomplish through your journal. I uh, started doing my journals. I um, started 
you know, actually using a calendar. I've been implementing habits into my life that have actually had a profound result or a profound effect on me. Oh yeah, waking up early. For a long time, I was just like, you know, like I had that again, very free spirited, very artist mentality of just like, oh, I'm gonna wake up whenever I want, I'm gonna do whatever I want because it's all in the favor of the art. Yeah, you then you actually find out about certain like people that you look up to and then see how regimented their lives are, see what brought that them what brought them the successes that you envy or envy is the wrong word, the successes that you crave. And then you see that they had rigorous systems in place in order to keep them performing at peak condition. So stuff like waking up early, stuff like having a journal, having a planner, just knowing when you're doing things so not so everything's not up in arms. It's very, very, very important. More so than you believe. More so than you believe.